speed spoons. Troll them, cast them, or jig them. If you want to get aggressive with trout, get a set of Kel Kellogg speed spoons and get your fish on. Available at the fishhuntshoot.com website. Howdy guys, Kel Kellogg here. Let's get controversial, okay? This video is gonna ruffle some feathers, but the, I always tell you guys the truth. Tom H reached out to me via Facebook Messenger. He's been following my media for years, dating back to when I was at the Fish Sniffer. Now he watches all my videos. He's, he's an avid trout and landlocked salmon guy. And he asked me if he should be running side planers out of his 18 foot jet craft. And uh, the answer is no. 95, probably 99% of the time for, you know, Joe Weekend Angler, you're gonna be able to catch all the fish you want using basic trolling tactics and attention to detail. No side planers, copper line. You don't need any of that stuff to get out on the water, have a good time, and catch a lot of fish. You see me do it here on the channel. I catch thousands of trout every year, and you've never seen me using any of that, you know, fancy kind of gear. Um, are there advantages to side planers? Yes, in some situations. Let's say you're a six pack skipper at Lake Michigan or Lake Tahoe or somewhere like that. You got a lot of water. Um, you got six clients on your boat. You got a deck hand, you got yourself, you can run eight rods and uh, you need to maximize the amount of fish you're hooking because you got six guys that are paying you to catch fish. In that situation, by all means, get the big mast and put out two side planers and cover a huge wide swath of the water and cover a big wide swath of the water column in terms of depth, utilize your downrigger side planers, whatever you need to utilize to get those eight baits out in the water and get your clients a maximum number of fish. But that's not what you're doing, Tom. You're out there, you know, usually by yourself or you're with a fishing partner. And at most, you guys are gonna be running four rods. Now, some guys will say, you're gonna catch more fish by getting your baits out of the footprint of the boat because the boat spooks the fish. Yes, your boat spooks the fish. That's why I catch more fish out of a kayak than I do out of a power boat, simply because my boat spooks the fish. But you can deal with spooked fish without using side planers. And I'll tell you how, I, I did this just last week. I was out at Lake Comanche. Um, the marks on the sonar looked great. Um, but, you know, running baits 80 to 100 feet behind the boat, we were getting short strikes. We were lightly hooking fish and losing them. And I just, just got the impression that the fish were a little spooky and they weren't committing to our gear. And as a result, they weren't getting hooked very well. So I thought maybe it's the boat that's making them spooky. So I took one of my trolling flies and I scoped it back 225 feet. I dropped it down, almost an instant hookup. The hook was buried in the fish's mouth. We, we, we lengthened you know, our setback on all of our gear. We started catching fish on spoons, on flies. We were hooking fish very solidly. And we turned what was a frustrating morning into a pretty successful day. And all it took to do that was getting the baits further behind the boat. Didn't need side planers or anything fancy. It's more line in the water, that's all it took. Um, I've played with side planers a fair amount during the winter time. Um, it is nice to be able to scope baits right up next to the bank in the winter. The trout and bait tend to gravitate to the bank in the winter because that's where the warmer water is. And, uh, and that is one advantage of side planers. But how I did that most of the time was with the small side planers that snap onto your line. And if you want to get your toe in the water in terms of side planer fishing, I would encourage you to get a couple of those. It's going to cost you at most about 30 bucks, depending on, you know, which manufacturer's side planers you choose. And uh, you can play with those and you can get a feel for, you know, whether or not side planer fishing is for you. That's a lot cheaper introduction to side planer fishing than buying a big mast and all that and then finding out that all that gear spends most of its time collecting dust in your garage. Um, what I would do at places like Shasta a lot of times, if I wanted to use, you know, my SEP side planer, um, and his are, his are excellent. You can tune them to go either left or right. They're just pretty cool and, and really inexpensive. I would use my hybrid lead core rig. I would put all three colors of lead core out. I would snap that side planer on right where the lead junction to the braid backing. 
I would uh, I would swim that out 30 to 40 feet aside of the boat and then I would put the rod up in a rocket launcher and uh, I caught a lot of nice kings and a lot of nice trout rolling shad off that rig and sometimes I would get it right up close to the bank um, other times out in open water that worked well but I, I think you know the bottom line to answer your question Tom no you don't need side planers you really don't need one of those big mast setups with the big giant boards um, if you want to get your toe in the water with side planers pick up a couple of those portable ones play with those a little bit but i think what you're going to find is that you'll catch just as many fish if you just pay attention to detail use basic tactics um, you know basic tactics catch fish that's the bottom line use pro uh, proven baits proven tactics pay attention to detail always think to yourself how 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 am i going to improve you know every day that i'm on the water you should learn something new every time you're out on the water beyond that i don't think you need a bunch of toys you don't need side planers and and all that kind of fancy gear anyway i'm kel kellogg i hope i was able to save you some money with this video and to kind of put stuff like side planers in in perspective for you know joe average angler not something you really need to be using i'm kel kellogg i'm signing off for now if you're looking for trout gear basic utilitarian trout gear that absolutely catches fish go on over and check my stuff out at fishhuntshoot.com i'll catch you next time right here on uh, youtube guys thanks a lot